Goa is experiencing a devastating wave of the coronavirus pandemic. You have seen headlines in the news, but the realities our people on the ground are experiencing are even worse. The COVID-19 has been spreading fearlessly and people are neglected and are struggling to be treated due to the lack of health facilities. This time Goa been a safest place. We had very less number of cases. But due to the negligence of different people, now we became a COVID hub. More than 52% of the people have COVID. Everyone whom I call is affected either somebody in the family or they themselves are affected. We got more involved in COVID relief program. We are giving cooked meals, uncooked food packets for people to make their own meal. And even if somebody is suffering and, and home and they can't cook, we are delivering hot, fresh food from our own home right to their doorstep. We are also involved in giving oxymeters, masks. A lot of people can't buy an N95 proper mask like I have. So we are providing masks so that they can be protected. So we are trying to do everything that's possible for the people who are affected by COVID. A lot has been changing here lately. Since COVID, we've totally changed our operation. Before, we were doing deliveries during the day only, that is meals on wheel, manna distribution. Right now, we are providing 24-7 COVID aid food delivery service. We had to totally redo our system. In addition to that, because of COVID, we are short of manpower and that is when Aku Lamani, a former child of El Shaddai Charitable Trust who is currently working in Taj, has volunteered to help us in cooking during her free time and this really helped us a lot to make sure that we were able to maintain the same level of service to the needy people. We are delivering about 20% more meals per month then we did prior to pandemic. We prepare food in our Khanagar and supply them free of cost for families of positive patients who would be otherwise finding it difficult to either prepare food by themselves or to even buy from outside. Apart from this, our outreach workers are too involved in cooking and serving hot meals at our respective centers. You really get to see firsthand what people far less fortunate in the community are struggling with right now. They are extremely thankful when you get to them and distribute food. If you'd like to get involved with El Shaddai Charitable Trust COVID-8 project, please go to our website at www.childrescue.net. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share.